Hello everyone, Ron here from Night Train Models and welcome to my channel. We're going to continue with building the 1 350th scale Space Battleship Yamato 2202 from Hashir Collections Japan and this is Volume 7. So as you can see, we have our parts for Volume 7 here. Some of them are missing because I already did one side of the model. And I'll show you how to do the other side because it's a little bit different. And then we will be attaching it to the other hull piece that we have been building. All right, so first step. We've got the left side here, and this is a, a bracket that'll hold the hull pieces together. We have the torpedoes, and you can see we also have some very strong magnet. Now, when I built the first side of this. It was, I was just trying to put the magnets in the slots where they go here. And every time I brought in a new one, it flew and stuck to the other one. So what you're going to have to do is take a little bit of our super glue. And we're just going to put a drop in each of these recesses here. Just enough to hold the magnet in place so they're flying all over the place. And we'll close up our super glue. Set that off to the side and keep your magnets far away from each other otherwise they'll be trying to stick to each other again. Right, so the stainless steel. Let's see if we can find a stainless steel tweezers. So we don't stick. So let that sit there for a few seconds. Even though this is made of metal, these magnets do not stick to it. Like the stainless steel. This isn't stainless steel, it's pot metal. But Grab another one. You don't have to sit there for very long. You can see it's trying to move and stick to the other one. So hold that there for a minute. A few seconds. And then we'll do the last one. Hold that there. So get all our magnets glued into place. So we're going to take this, this piece that's made of plastic. These are the, the torpedoes. Front torpedo bays. And this just snaps on. You won't have to glue this in. It stays pretty good. And then it sandwiches. And then it sandwiches those magnets in between. And that just snaps in there. Next, we're going to take this. You see our hole here for the torpedo. Pin, pin. There's a hole for a screw right here. So we're going to 
slide that over, make sure the pins line up in here. And then we're gonna grab our screwdriver and a screw. A little bit of thread lock. And we're gonna start this screw. Don't tighten this all the way. Kind of get it in there. You want it to be a little bit loose because the next piece that goes in, same thing, pin, 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 screw, place for the screw. And this is going to lock into here like so. You gotta kind of finagle it a little bit. And that's why you don't want it this bracket tight. And make sure you get your pins lined up and you want this You don't want a gap here and you don't want it to don't want it to bend out. Grab another screw. A little bit of thread lock on our threads. Just get it started. Tighten these down. And if you notice, there was a gap here, and as you tighten the screw, it closes that gap. Another one right here. And as we tighten this screw, it'll close that gap. Make sure that our and this is what I was talking about right here. See how these aren't quite lined up correctly? Undo the screw again. Twist. That's much better. So the difference between the right side and the left side is, is these brackets. The right side doesn't have them. They just go on the left side and they go on over these two pins. And we have to put these nuts into these slots right here for attaching additional hull pieces later. So grab our tweezers again and we'll... The nuts and the slots. You can just drop them in. So H1 goes on top here. or nut doesn't fall out. And 
and the H2 goes on the bottom. Once again, metal on metal, so we're going to use a little thread lock to make sure our screws stay in place. There's our brackets, H1, H2 on the red part. And you can see the nut trapped in there. Our port side, our starboard side. We got some pins here and holes here. So we're going to join those together. So we'll take some of the wire that we got with the kit, kind of hold these. Temporarily back here, out of the way. So we got our fiber out of the way, and then we can put our port starboard sides together. I'm going to bring in this one, and we're going to thread these wires and fiber over the top here. You see the little bracket that's sticking out down there? There's one on the other side too. You need to put a screw on each of those brackets. This might get a little tricky. Once again, metal on metal, so we're going to use a little bit of thread lock on our screw. Now we're going to put a one screw in each of these to hold the top of the hull. And what you do is you're screwing down, you might have to push this little bracket a little bit forward. It doesn't quite line up. It's close, but you don't want to pinch any of your fiber. Or your wires. Tighten up the ones on the inside. Again. All our screws are tightened, and there's just one thing left to do. And that is to tidy up some of the fiber that we've installed. So I'm group these, these four at the bottom. Tie them together temporarily. So we got our fiber tied together for the lower hull and the wires and the fiber tied together for the upper hull. And what we have to do is take this and we're gonna thread the fiber through the holes. I'm going to push it up so we leave about 15 centimeters, not 15 centimeters, 15 millimeters, about right there, so We're going to take this piece and slide it over the top. Squeeze 
squeeze these together on the end. You got a chamfered end on it. it goes through there and then push it together. So we're going to take our nippers and we're going to cut each fiber close to the end of this cap. And polish up the ends. So there's our fiber all polished up and nice and neat. So that's volume seven done. Quite a bit of work, kind of very fiddly. I'll get to volume eight as soon as I can. I'm I'm just noticing just now. I'm not liking this a lot. There's a there's a gap right here that I can see. I can see through, and then on the keel, a very large gap. I might have to take it apart and give the edges a little filing. There might be burrs or something that I've missed. So I'll, ha I'll, I'll do that later. Give you an update on what happened on the next volume 8. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click on my logo to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you click on the bell, you'll get a notification that new channel content is available. And, as always, all comments and questions are welcome. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay safe and happy modeling. Now go build something awesome.